How are you two? Welcome back. Bam from Bam's Gaming Studios here today, bringing you another tutorial. Yeah. Alright. So today I'm going to be doing something that a lot of people want to know about, and it's it's fairly simple, honestly, and a lot of tutorials make it a lot more complicated than it really needs to be. But uh, I'm going to quickly, not so quickly, I mean thoroughly, walk you through how to make a Minecraft server for pretty much any version of Minecraft, but I'm going to be demonstrating Minecraft 1.8 whatever you know because you know if you make a server from 1.8 it runs through all the 1.8 versions so far um, so the first thing you're gonna need to do this is just to get the basis I'm um, create a new fo <laughs> okay yeah create a new folder on your desktop call it you know whatever you want I'm gonna call it minecraft YouTube server all right now you're gonna go to minecraft.net you're gonna go to Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute. I promise. Okay, you gotta download it here. And ignore this. That doesn't that won't happen to you guys. Alright, so the multiplayer server. Don't download the .exe, it's just stupid. You're gonna wanna download That's a virus. Not not this, but I, I have just just bear with me guys. Alright. So, while you wait for that to download, which it should download instantly, I don't know why mine is being retarded, you can open up this file, and you're going to need a couple things here. You're going to need to create a .exe to launch the server, which this is, this is kind of, this kind of needs to not. Alright, so it downloaded. It opened, even though I told it not to. So anyways, yours is going to stay down here, mine didn't, so just go ahead and drop it over into your file and rename it to server. So it's server.jar. Uh, I don't know what that's doing. Okay. So since I don't exactly remember how to do it, I'm going to just bring this up real fast. And... And this this download will be in the description, so don't worry. So you you're gonna have a .exe file. You're gonna create it. You're gonna open it up. You don't need much for this. I'm showing you guys how to create a basic server. I will also get into craft bucket, but that's for later on. So you're gonna open up the .exe and you're gonna type Java dash xmx. 614114M. That's 6 gigs. Now, for you guys, I don't know what kind of computers you have, so just leave the maximum and the smallest at 124. And the jar is going to be whatever you named this. This isn't a craft bucket server, so you can name it server.jar. Then put pause afterwards, so any errors you see, or any errors that happen, you can see them. Now, he's just going to be retarded. Alright, now, after you've done that, you double click on the launch. It'll take it a second, but it's going to create some stuff in this folder, and it will be the server. And because of the new version of Minecraft, where Microsoft now owns it, it's going to create an elua dot, uh, text. You're going to need to open that up, set this to true, and after you've done that, just close that out and launch it again. Give it a second, guys. It may load faster or slower for some. Just bear with it. Now, since this isn't a craft bucket server, it's going to load up default like this. Um, and it's going to open two consoles. You don't really need two consoles, and I'm not really 100% certain why it does this. And it's going to create the world. It shouldn't really take that long and then it says it's done okay so does that mean you can get on the server not exactly so what you're gonna do now is open up minecraft and what the next step in this is gonna be port forwarding which isn't that hard just bear with me guys my computer is being retarded today 
Alright. Oh yeah, make sure you guys have um, Java updated. There'll be a link in the description. Alright, so I have Minecraft 1.83. You can use any version of 1.8 for these servers. Now, I don't believe Craft Bucket is updated for um, 1.8, so that's going to be an issue. I'm pretty sure there is an alternative sort of server for it. So while we're waiting, guys, I'm going to um, just pull up Google and see if I can find... Um, thing, the new sponge. Oh God, I don't know what it is. Sponge. Here it is. No, 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 no. Never mind. My bad. You guys can use Spout, though. We're just going to stick to the default server right now, guys. I can't demonstrate Craft Bucket, and I apologize. Now, you see, this pops up for me, and it's through my local IP address. But for some, that will not show. It will look like this. Can't connect the server. You won't even know your server's IP address. So let me get in to port forwarding. So you're just going to go ahead and X out the server. And you're going to go to run or whatever type of computer you have done here. Open up Windows. Do CMD. Opens up the command prompt. Uh, I'm going to put in the description if IP, IP config. If this doesn't work for you, I'm going to explain in the description how to fix it if you're on Windows. Then you hit enter. Alright, after you've done that, you're going to look for your wireless LAN adapter. Not If you're connected to Ethernet and wireless, go with wireless, that's going to be the uh, address it looks for, not your Ethernet. If you just have an Ethernet cable, you're going to use this, but since I'm on a wireless connection, priority-wise, it, it goes through the wireless first. So I'm going to use the 10.0.0.4. Now, the first thing you're going to do is open up your server.config, go to your server IP, put your IPv4 address for your wireless or Ethernet. And once again, if you're connected to a wireless connection, just use the wireless. If you're just connected to Ethernet, use the Ethernet. And you can read that right here. Now, the IPv4 address is this one right here. It even says it. Just go over to it down here. If I was just connected to Ethernet, no Wi Fi, it would be this. Now, next thing you're going to want to look at is your default gateway. Not all these letters and numbers, just 10.0.0.1. Now, keep in mind, your gateway in IPv4 may not be the same as mine. It, and I guarantee you it won't be. Your gateway might. Now, you're going to open up the gateway. I have Xfinity. After you've done that, you're going to log in. Um, just ignore that. And for um, most default gateways, the password is... The uh, username is admin, and the password is password. Um, so anyways, after you've done that, depending on what kind of router you have, I don't know for all of you. Um, uh, uh, I can't close this. Hold on. Okay. So after you've done that, you're going to go to your port forwarding page, which should be under advanced. This is for a Comcast router. I don't know for everybody. And once you're in here, you're going to go to add service. Now, as you can see in the server.properties, um, blah, 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 there should be a port. I'm blind. It's right here. All right. So the port, default 25565, unless you're trying to host multiple servers at once, leave it 25565. You're going to go to the server IP address and your port porting software, whatever it may be, and put it to your IPv4 address, which you put in your server.properties. Then your start port is going to be 25565. The same with your ending port. 
Now say you had your port to something else, say 25566, it would just simply be changed. Anyways, start port, end port, 25565, both of them. Uh, you need to put in service name. I'm just going to put MC server tutorial. Oh. You know what? MC server YouTube. Alright, it may take, you know, whatever amount of time, depending on whatever software you have. After it's port forwarded, you're good to go. You should be able to connect to it, and so should your friends. If your friends couldn't, uh, can't, check your connection, check for errors in the server. Um, check to make sure you have the IPs entered correctly. If you have any other issues, comment down below. Now I'm going to start up the server. Close out Google. Oh yeah, you guys, one more thing. You're not going to know this IP, this one right here, do not give that to your friends. That's not how they can join the server. Um, I'll show you guys in just a second. All right. So, the way the, the IP you're going to give them, go to whatismyip.com. This is the IP right here you're going to want to give them. Now, once you've done that, give it to them. I can't, like, if you're on your own computer, you can't connect to the external IP, of course. But uh, just go ahead and launch your server. Launch Minecraft. As you can see, it starts the Minecraft server on the port you uh, set it to. Starts quicker the second time because it doesn't have to create the world. All right, so just go ahead and play. And when you give them the uh, IP, another thing is if they can't connect, make sure with your external IP, which I just showed you on whatismyip.com. Um, make sure you include the port, the colon 25565, and I'll show you how to enter that. So my external IP is not the same as the IP I used to port forward. So obviously, when you when you go to, this is how your friends should enter the address. Your address is going to be different. I'm just showing you how, what, say one of my friends would enter mine. So they would enter this, and say they can't connect through that. Well, make sure they add this at the end with the colon. After you've done that, you can join your server. Give it a minute. And you're in. I'm just falling through the world, guys, don't worry. Uh huh. Alright. So now that you're on the server, you can see it works and everything. Because I'm hosting on the same machine as the server and I'm playing on it, it's a little laggy. To uh, get permissions on the server, you do op your username. So now I'm opt. Then you do slash help, and you can see all the commands on the server. Pretty simple. And uh, one last thing I want to show you guys is the. Let me go to it is the ability to allocate more RAM, which basically means to make the server run faster. You go here and you see this. Every gig is 1,024 megabytes. That's what this M means. Stick with megabytes to make this simple. Say you want two gigs, you have to change this to 2,048. And this... Sorry, YouTube, I apologize. There was an error with my uh, recording software. Uh, there should be like a little cut in the video. Anyways. Uh, these are going to be 1,024. Um, that's one gig, as I just explained. Then, if you want two gigs, you change that to 2,048, and so on. Uh, links to anything you need will be in the description. What is my IP.com, all that, Java versions, explanations in the description. If you need any more help, leave a comment on the video. I'll read it. I'll help you. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. See you all guys. I'll see. I'll see you guys next time. And leave uh, suggestions in the description for more tutorials. Goodbye, YouTube.